Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this month, I posted about a workaround that may allow you to install Windows 11 24H2 LTSC long-term servicing channel on unsupported hardware. And as I mentioned uh, in that video, which will be in the end screen, this was by uh, selecting the ROT Enterprise LTSC option instead when selecting the OS during the actual setup process. Now, just to let you know, and as you must probably seen from the title, it seems that the same bypass little method will work for the non-LTSC IoT Enterprise Edition as well. And this was spotted by Bob Pony over on X, who has posted that, just found out that this also applies for the regular Windows 11 IoT Enterprise Edition, which is the non-LTSC edition when picked in the Windows setup. So just to um, show you what this is all about, if we head over to a little video clip provided, here we can see that when trying to install Windows 11 Pro on unsupported hardware, that's not possible. The PC can't run Windows 11. And then choosing Windows 11 IoT Enterprise non-LTSC. There we go. You are then able to start the installation process and install the IoT Enterprise Edition non-LTSC version on unsupported hardware. So I thought that was interesting and um, always interesting to see the little workarounds that are discovered and found. And as I've mentioned uh, earlier today, SSE 4.2 is going to be a requirement for Windows 11 24H2 uh, for you to be able to install that, um, which is obviously a feature that's found in your more kind of modern CPUs. And I'll also leave that video uh, in the end, end screen of this video if you would be interested. So there we go. Choosing the IoT Enterprise Edition on LTC when picked in the Windows setup also works now to bypass those system requirements to be able to install Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.